Uh... I have to rest. I'm going to try to kill the boss, if I can. Uh, Rill can try to do that too. If, if Rill kills the boss, I can do something else as well. So don't worry about it. Just Let's just get him dead, and then we can decide what we want to do. Because whoever wants to kill the boss, let's just kill the boss, and then let's continue on. I would do something, but I had zero cards. Luckily, I didn't screw myself to the point where I can't recover my last cards, though. Alright. Lost Joke has returned to us. Lost Joke, are you on uh, voice again as well? No. Okay. Good. I'm glad that you're not... So we are uh, deciding what we want to do. Lost joke. So let's talk shit about him since he's not back. <laughs> yeah, let's talk shit about him since he's not on voice. Cause he can't hear us. Filthy rat. I mean, you talk about me while I'm here. <laughs> All right. Man are we ready? Things are racist. <laughs> I'm not even a man. Let's go around. Have you noticed that that rat is short? Have you, have you noticed that he's very small, almost rat-like? Really, you're go you're uh, you're up first. Attack two, range three, target two. Uh, yeah, I think that's just the boss, but that's fine. Okay, well, the boss is dead. Thank God for that. <laughs> Range 3 can reach these living corpses. I don't think that Rill can... Oh, she can? She can reach one of the living corpses? Which one? Just this one or the elite? It's Benton. The line of sight line isn't Both, going along apparently. any edges. Apparently you could attack either one of these. Okay. So which which also one do you want to uh, kill or attack? He's attacking the elite for uh, plus zero, but that's still two damage. So two damage. Also, you get uh, XP for that. You could also potentially go in there and attack that, but you'd probably die. So you might not want to. You could uh, move away and loot. <laughs> there we go. You could have looted both of those coins, I think, if you moved uh, in the middle. But can I still use move? Oh, wait, you're I'm right. I'm sorry. Loot? No, you're right. I thought you were using loot. Never mind. I'm dumb. All right. Uh, Last joke. Okay, I'm gonna range attack the elite. Okay. Three. Okay. And you do disarm on him, apparently. Yeah, apparently. And you create ice. And you get two XP. Hey, yeah, Ionox. Yeah. I would take it as a personal favor if you didn't go into that room next to you. 
You don't want me to go stand on the door. Attack those? Alright. Hi, welcome. Welcome, Gold J Dog. Welcome to our gloomy playthrough <laughs> of Gloomhaven. Yep. <laughs> and I'm going to I plan on standing on the door. What are they doing? They are moving one. The living corpses here? are going to be moving one. No, not that door. The other door. No, I'm moving here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Is that it? That's your that's your turn? That's everything. Okay. Uh so you just don't want me to stand on the door, but I can go in there if I well, want. I don't want you to go in there <laughs> Okay. Um one, two, three, stay. four. If I don't go in there, I can't do anything. I, there's nobody else in range of me. You could go over to the other room in order to get ready to. Fight That's those true, guys. but I have to long rest next turn. So, if I don't attack this turn, I'm not attacking for at least two turns. Well, it's up to you, but I'm not gonna get my battle goal if you go in there. Uh. Move four. I can jump though. And you can well. also just go get some money or something. <laughs> just go get some money or something. It's fine. Two, one, two, three, four. If you, uh, never mind. I mean, I could go all the way over here, but then that means I have to like. You know what? It's fine. You know what? I'll go over here and get some money. I have to rest we anyway. I might as well get away. I might as well get away from 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 the action while I rest. All right. Uh, that is actually, you know what? That is kind of a waste of this. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste the card for that. I am going to just move. Um, that was right here, right? I'm just going to move one, two. I won't waste these cards. Alright, that's my turn. Uh, living corpses are going to all essentially move one and attack for either four or three. Uh, these guys are going to move first. This guy is going to move one. He can't attack anyway. Uh, these guys are going to move one. Is this guy even move? Wait, no, this guy would move first. And this guy, I guess, can move this way. Uh, and then I guess this guy can move. And this guy can move. And that's all they're going to do. Boss is dead. Craig is long resting. It's the end of the round. I am also going to long rest this round. Lost Joke also mind resting. <laughs> Lost Joke mind resting. I mean, that's what it's called. Yeah, he is a mind thief. <laughs> that's what he's doing. Real also resting. Don't uh, don't gain mind, your 1 HP yet. Mind no. take. You have to wait until it's your turn because other things could possibly attack you. You have to wait until it's actually... Oh, wait. No, that, that was uh, Craig doing that. Yeah. Never mind. I, I can't Sorry. read. Listen, I can't read, okay? I'm, Ill I'm, I'm illiterate. I have been this whole time. It's my personal shame. Now you know. And it's out there. And now everybody can laugh at me because I can't read. Uh, we do. <laughs> right. Well, I think the only one who's actually going is, is Craig, so. So what you going to do? Well, I was still picking the card and losing because of the long rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I already know at least one of the cards that you're using, but... All right. I'm ready. Craig! Okay, I'm moving four. I'm standing in the door. That oh my completes God. my battle goal. What was your what? battle goal? 
Should be I take an obstruction? It out? Um, yeah, if you've completed it, I guess we can we can take a look now. Of course, we still have to win. Be adjacent to at least two monsters while standing on a door hex. That's a very specific goal. <laughs> and I'm using my cloak of invisibility. Okay. <laughs> Nice. To this is this is top plays. This, this is top plays. Oh yeah. For once, you you, ta you passing out in a doorway is tactically advantage. I'm not passing out though. I'm just standing there and being invisible while blocking. Okay, your tactic of just collapsing in a spot and being in the way is actually working towards yeah. our advantage. I'm good at being in the way. And then I assume right, reviving so I ether. And I'm recovering almost cards. Okay. So, and then you're also making uh, dark with that. I'll make it for you. Alright, well, while you're doing that, uh, living corpses, uh, move zero, attack zero, so they're gonna move, uh, well, some of them are gonna move uh, one and attack for four. Um, I mean, these guys aren't gonna do anything. Uh, these guys, however, Oh yeah, uh, Craig, uh, Fenton makes a good point. Uh, this is technically a lost card because it's it's a you know it's a lost card. You could take this back into your hand if you would like to. Yeah, but well. I don't really want to. I'm still gonna get an experience out of it next time I attack. Yeah, but if you take it out, that's another card that you can use to maybe not be exhausted. Uh. uh yeah. Lost Oak. This guy's gonna attack you for four. You mean attack me for three? It's, uh, yes. He's gonna attack you for three. It's a buffed crackling here, so to use it again, I would have he, to. He hits you for four. Do like two rounds worth of stuff just to set it up. Okay, I'm dead. You just died. Just lose a card. You're not gonna lose a card. Lost joke. Nope. You're just gonna give up. Yep. Why? Why? Because. It, it, does you, do you have a card? You can lose two card. cards. You can lose two cards from his uh, no. discard. No. No. You're going to throw the game? Maybe no. His, maybe his battle. Do you want me to just show you my card? Exhausted. No. But I know there, why you're doing it. No, I know. I know why you're doing it. So, no, I'm not. I mean, that's seven cards. This is you're going to like lose this for us by doing that. Am I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I honestly don't. Well, it, you might. Uh, all of these living corpses, the, all three elites have 10 HP. I mean, this one is down to five, but they have 10 HP each. These guys have seven HP each. We're not going to get any more, but like, do we have enough damage without you, one of the prime damage dealers, doing damage? Do we? Because I don't do enough damage. I'm not going to have enough damage for that. I don't know that a battle goal is worth... You're going to lose the battle goal if we lose anyway. And also, we're never going to play this again if we lose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then if we're never going to play, then I'll just die. This is how Mamtag dies. But we might play it again if we... No, you see, yeah, you, no, you can't do that. You can't say we're never going to play Here's it again. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though, Lost Joke. You're not going to get this if we lose. frustrated to play this game again if we lose. If we lose, you're not going to get this anyway. Yeah, you only get the battle. Goal All of this is looking scenario. bad for me. I mean, if we actually finish, we also get extra XP and we get progress in the campaign. And we don't actually have to do this How mission much again. much XP? It's like an extra 6 X XP, but also, we don't ever have to do this mission again. But if, you, if we lose, we're going to have to do this mission again. Fine, I'll sacrifice this, lose my battle goal, and then take another attack because I'm going to get hit again. Yeah. Actually, you're not going to get hit again. This guy's not going to hit you. He's not going to be able to. Yeah, the other guy can't move close enough to you. Alright, well, this guy uh, is also going to move uh, one. But yeah, he can't, uh, he can't get close enough to you, so... You don't get hit again. Also, you still have 4 Attack HP. Attack has 31 out of 6 hit points. 
All right. Uh, we are now um, able to rest. So everybody heal up. Isn't that two. What and then we'll uh, get my boots back. Decide what card I want to get rid of. Does the rat have six? I haven't leveled up. Yeah. Where are you at? Where were you at? I was at four were at? since we started this mission. Why are you at six then? You should still be at four. Because I took a long rest. We haven't done it yet, yeah, though. Is, is that the first long rest you took? No, it's the second. But we haven't done that part yet. You don't get the HP until we get to that part. You're taking a long rest in this in this next turn. If. Or in this next if round. If he was at four hit points since the start of the map, and he had rested before, then he should have healed, and then he wouldn't have died anyway from that hit. I got hit before I reached this point. Archers. Remember, there were archers in this room, and they shot me. Oh. So I was at... I've pretty much been floating at four HP since the start of this. All right. All right, so you did take a long rest. All right, uh, you're right. Uh, what am I gonna get rid of? I still gotta get rid of some. It's hard keeping track of some of this stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to get rid of anything. I need all of uh, this. So why didn't you just use your hide armor to not die from that hit? Because I did use the hide armor, but he had a bonus to do damage. He would have done five to me, but my heart. Hide armor reduced it to one. So I still took four damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if it actually uses... Yeah, you don't actually use the hide armor if, if you lose a card to negate the attack anyway. So yeah. what, do I still have my hide armor? Yeah, it's still on, on one use left for now. Uh... Yeah, I was just trying to figure out if there was any other. Honestly, I, I almost want to just lose this. It does damage, but I'd have to lose it. Otherwise, I'm just going to use it as generic damage. I'm going to keep this because I can use my uh, boots with it. Are um, we currently picking cards? Yeah, I'm picking my card. I'm picking a card to lose right now. But we are also, we're basically, if you want to you put cards down, go ahead. I'm just, I need to pick one card to lose. Fenton has some advice for us. Greg, for you in yeah, particular. Yeah, I saw that. I was pretty much going to do that. So. No, it's okay. Honestly, we need we need it. We need it, Fenton. We're, we're, we're all terrible at this game. This game is kicking our asses the entire time that we've been playing. Even when we win, I feel like the we were like... <laughs> we barely won. Uh... Yeah, I'd honestly rather just get rid of this. It's it's a quick card, but it's like the least useful one right now. Uh, all right. Well, Ben says it does get easier, and we'll start flying through scenarios. I'm ready. Yeah, now now that I've picked the card that I want to lose, I actually have to pick cards to play. I'll use this. You pick a card, um, Srell. Srell here. Yeah. Craig, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What I can't do you... tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. You can tell me what you're doing. 
You can discuss general, what you're I'm, doing. In general, I'm going to sit in the doorway uh, until after these guys turn, probably, and, and attack them. Okay. Just use this as generic. All right. Are we all ready? I think we're all ready. Yeah. Lost joke. I'm going to fierce blade this guy. Adjacent to one of them. What? Please stay adjacent to one of them, Lost Joe. Well, I'm not not moving. Both of my okay. abilities are going to be attacks, sort of. I'm fearsome blading the one in front of me. Okay. So that is... Plus five. And of course I miss. I knew I was going to miss. I was yeah. going to say I'm going to miss anyway. That wasn't even the curse uh, card, too. And I'm going to come... Hell. Say fearsome the blade. The guy behind him to attack his friend. For two. Uh, did you say fearsome blade? Yes. Or perverse edge, whatever. Okay. Right. I have two cards that kind of say the same thing. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just making sure. All right. So you miss with perverse edge, and you're going to compel have... the other one to attack his friend. All right. So it's two. Uh, attack two. Which one attacking which? You, you draw from the monster. Well, this one. Monster deck. This button? Yeah. So he does two damage. He hits him for two. Which one is which? I'm not... All right. That's, that's the one getting hit. All right. And that's the end of my turn. Real. It is your turn. Rill is moving over there. And I assume attack for uh, wound. Number five. Oh, well, you didn't have to wound him. He dead. With that crit. All right, my turn. Uh, I am going to uh, move three, I guess. I don't have to move three. I, I could just use generic. It doesn't matter either way. I'm going to move right here, and I'm going to attack that elite with my uh, dagger for three. Uh. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of this. Uh, let me read out what Fenton has said. He is he has given us a uh, book's worth of, of advice. Uh, here's my tiny bit of advice. Scoundrel should look for rotations that go slow turn, fast turn. Move in at the very end of a round to do a hit, then act fast next round to do another hit and move out. Mind Thief should basically just only ever use Mind's weakness. Spellweaver looks like they're getting pretty good value out of cards so far. I recommend always taking quick glance at what the enemies are doing when you first reveal cards. You can generally figure out the... Uh, exactly where they will be and then he says not sure if mind thief took frigid apparition but he might want to it's good you can stun one round with the bottom of perverse edge then stun again with frigid apparition uh minor stamina potion then do it all over again basically guaranteeing four turns of stun locking anything you want all right um did i roll for that yeah, I yeah, missed. You drop your jokers. Discard. Discard. Uh, living corpses' turns are not going to move, but they are going to attack plus one. Um. So, uh, yeah, these guys are not going to do jack shit. This guy is going to, uh, unfortunately, have to attack Rill because he can't move. That's the only one that he can attack. So he's going to attack Rill for five. Ugh. 
It's five. Real, did you want to use this advantage? I, I know you're supposed to use that. Um, say that yeah. before, but if you want to use that, we'll just go ahead and say that yeah. we use that. Just, just, just to. Well, it's still five. All right. You want to get rid of something? Okay. You can also do two from the desk card if you want. Yeah. All right. Fen, Fen says Spellweaver can solo the rest. Speaking of, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to use generic move. Eight from the ether. Okay. Move here. Then I'm going to do fire orbs. All right, attack three, uh, plus your crap, you're no longer invisible. Why well, you're actually invisible, but it's fine. It's end of the I round. Have, I have one attack at five, and the two others would be at three. Okay, so I assume you want to, I mean, that's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I'll do the five on the... All right, go ahead and roll for that. Here's, here's the... You miss. Crap. Unfortunate. Alright. Uh, but that's still this done. You do get an XP for that. Yeah. Lemon Corpse 1. This is 3. Four. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 3. 1, 2, four. 3, 4. Alright. Uh, you also get another uh, XP from your from the end of your crackling air. Yep. And then that's uh, that's gone. All right. Round end. Fenton says that your poison and wound on the boss were huge, real. And they, they were. They were they were great. That definitely got us to kill him. I think the poison and wound did just as much damage to the boss as I did. Yeah. Uh I'm going to go into this room. I'm going to hurt a couple enemies while I do it. But it's going to be pretty slow. <sighs> do I want to do this or this? My dilemma right now is do I want to, assuming I don't take a miss. It has to be in that order, Real. It has to be top and then bottom. You can, you can skip one and go to the next one like you don't have to move and then attack if you want but you do it has to be in that order if you do both or you could just move and not attack as well but it has to be in order do I want to like basically assuming I don't I don't get misses do I want to basically guarantee kill one person or do I want to possibly kill two people I think I want to possibly kill more than one Right. I think I think we want to kill as many as we can in one yeah. round. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to have to long rest next round, though. I might die, but we'll see. I'm going pretty slow, by the way, in case anyone, anyone was wondering. Craig might kill these guys before I can. Possible. We'll see. Uh, Let's go. We're doing it. Craig goes first. Okay. 
I'm gonna heal you for three. Okay. Can't reach anyone else. And then I'm gonna attack all of the corpses in that room for three. Okay. Uh, order. Just right to left. Three, four, one. Uh, sure. Okay. Three, four, one. So for three. That's him dead. That's him almost dead. This guy's dead. And then that's this guy down to one. Well, that's fine. Real. It's your turn. Attack three. That's three. Move to Lost Joker. Um, okay. First, I'm going to muddle him. Okay. I go over there. I go all the way back to the door. Okay. Wait, no. I'm not going to do that. Get out of here. You can muddle him and just get next to him and then attack him if you want. No, he won't be muddled if I do that. I have to go back to where I started. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to generic move... Up over here. Okay. And then just attack him for two plus or two? Is yeah, two? it's just two, and then you can push him if you want, but it's up to you if you want to or not. Where is he gonna go? I don't know. You can push him one away, but I don't know that you would want okay, to. Okay, I just attack him for three then. Fun. Fun on a bun. It's one. Minus one. Oh, minus one. No, that's. Why oh yeah, you could have done the other one because you drew a minus one. Yeah. And you attacked him for I two. I attacked two plus two is four. Where's your plus two? Oh, I see. Mine's a weakness, so I attacked him for three instead. Okay. That is three. Yeah, Fenton, he could have done that, but it's fine. He's he's almost dead. This guy. Oh, I need a drink of potion, so I'm gonna do that. We're, like, we're okay, I guess. Hopefully he'll die. But for next time, yeah, Fenton uh, says that you could have um, used the bottom of one to move attack four and then also attack four. You'd end up being next to him, but it would have been two attack fours. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this anyway. It might kill them. Uh, it's move, four, jump, attack two, all enemies move through, and I get two XP. So one, two, three, four. Um, and so it's attack two on, uh, on both of these guys. It's interesting how you change direction, but air will jump. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to do the elite first. He's dead. The other guy. He's dead. I need two coins. Uh, and I think that's really all I'm going to do. I can't do anything else, so. Use that card. Living Corpse, there's only one left. He is going to move zero, attack zero, so he's going to attack 
Lost Joke. No, he's going to attack. Yeah, he's going to attack Lost Joke for... Four. Uh, you still have three. your thing, right? Yeah, so it's going to be three. It's four. But you're still alive, so... And that is his turn. But I'm dead on the inside. Also, this is now, uh... Used up. Not like the living corpse, though. He's dead on the outside, too. <laughs> He's alive on the inside. Alive. He's actually very he happy right now. He's he fulfilling. He's happy. He's, f he's doing his purpose. He's fulfilling his purpose. Which is attacking the living. So He lives to attack the living. See, that's the secret for to all zombies. They're actually all really happy because they believe their purpose is just to attack the living. So as long as they're attacking the living... You smile all the time when yeah. you don't have lip. Exactly. Uh, I have to. I have to rest. I can't do anything else. So, Craig, what are you doing? They're having the time of their own lives. I keep on forgetting to use my uh, leather armor. I really need to not forget that. What am I doing? I have one card. So guess what I'm doing. Falling asleep in the in the doorway. I'm not in the. Doorway. I guess I could have short rested, but now eh, I don't want to rest. Asleep next to the door. I guess I can short rest. I'm not exhausting, though. I I can still rest. Short rest is uh, you know what, Fen's right. I might short rest. Let me um. It's just it's still just one card I lose, right? I just don't get to pick it. There. I lost uh, my spare dagger, but I get to take these two. All right, so I actually don't get to. Oops, I don't want to long rest. Actually, can I like unlong rest? Doesn't matter. I think if you put down cards, the script will let you. Let's hope so. I mean, we can just do it manually if we have to. Is it possible for me to short rest if I have one card in my hand? Yes. Short rest just means that you have to randomly lose a card instead of getting to pick it. You also don't heal, and you also don't ready any items. But you, but you still get your discard deck back minus one. You just, you just don't get to pick what it is. You have to do it first. We, this would be counting as the end of the round, uh, end of the last round. Okay, so I just. Uh... So, I don't know if it's gonna let me not long rest though. You, well, I had the same problem. We're just, we'll just, if it doesn't, we'll just deal All with right. initiatives manually. It doesn't matter. All right. So I take the cards. What do I do? Um, actually, don't remove the cards. Flip them over. Shuffle them. Remove one. Uh, the the card I randomly lose can't be the one that's in my hand. No, it has to be from the discard pile. Okay. There. And then you can take both of those cards. That's the one I would have chosen anyway. Uh, how do I get XP from this? Maybe. Fenton. Because I can't attack. It doesn't matter. I'm just friggin' move. Use this to move. Yeah, you're right, it's coins. I don't have loot, though. So I'll get, like, one coin. Craig, are you going to go after a coin, or are you going to try to kill this guy? Doesn't uh, matter. We can share a coin. There's two coins up here, so I can only get one. I think I'm probably not attacking. Okay. Just get the coin. I can get one coin. You can get the other one if you want. It'd be funny if I got both of them. I would punch you in the face. My brute would shield bash you. If he could, but his shield bash has been lost. <laughs> so he can't. He forgot how to shield bash. Uh, Alright. Uh, Rill is resting, so... Let's go. Uh, Craig, 
you are up. Okay. Can I attack? No. You could uh, just to generic move and then attack if you wanted. Sick ally. Mm. Yeah, so might as well get the XP. Experience. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll actually kill. Assuming he doesn't die this round, the uh, the enemy. All right. Yeah. Uh, lost joke. Am I next? Yep. Ah, uh, I see the initiative tracker broke. Did it? Uh, yeah, I don't see anything on me. Oh, I see it. It's fine. You There's are you are indeed next. There's okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> attack with fearsome blades, but I'm not going to move. So All I'm right. gonna do four damage. Okay. Four damage. It's three damage. damage. One, two, three. I'm gonna generic attack for four damage. Okay. Three damage. This guy dead. Uh, technically, the game is still going until the end of the round. Living Corpse doesn't get a turn. Uh, I get to go. Uh, I'm just going to use a move to pick up a coin. And that's, I think, all I can do. Uh, Scoundrel is resting. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're we're done. That's it. We're done. Round ends. We went. I don't have good victory music, although the music is fading out at exactly the right time. Is it? Ooh. Seems pretty consistent for me. Maybe it's just because I was going back. Oh my god. I don't know if we feel like... Celebrating, Fenton. It's nice that we won. What do we get? Let's see what we get. I believe, uh, because we need to read the, uh, the end of this. Conclusion! Sifting through the carnage left by the battle, you find a cache at the back of the room containing the scrolls you were hired to collect. That was like three years ago. Uh... You can't help but rifle through them a bit, but find that the writing upon them is in some unknown archaic language. One thing that does jump out at you, however, is a map of the northern countryside. A bend in the still river is clearly marked as a point of interest. Contemplating whether you want to find out uh, more about the so-called gloom, you decide that the spot could be a point of interest for you as well, uh, and we get a new place. Uh, but that can be forgotten for the moment. You pack up the papers and head back to Gloomhaven to collect your reward. Meeting Jixera once again at the Sleeping Lion, you hand over the papers and are paid the agreed-upon amount. Uh, you know, she whispers to you softly under the bustle of a tavern, if you're interested, I may have another job for you. The tribe of Enochs in the Dagger Forest has ransacked a couple of my caravans headed to the capital. I told the militia, but they do nothing. She spits. I can point you in the direction of their encampment. If you can make an example of them, I will pay you even more. She places no! a food map of the forest on the table and stands up, her jewelry clinking with the movement. Come find me when it is done. So we get three and four, apparently. G3 no, and go to hell, lady. I'm going to mark them anyway. We get... Uh, oh, yeah, well, this is done. Let's uh, let's mark this. Craig, will you mark this for me? I can't seem to ever mark those. Is it working? There we go, I got it. Uh, we get three. What was it, E11? The blaster. Stormtrooper rifle. Uh, alright, we get those, and we also get... Ten gold He's each. Playing. And plus one prosperity. The opportunity to murder your own people. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We haven't uh, done the end of mission stuff yet. Uh, I don't think that I did acrobatic. I don't think I ever negated five or more damage. I think I only did it for four damage. So I did not get this, unfortunately. Uh, and then end of mission rewards. I believe it's um, it's like six XP. I think 
Let's see. Back near the end. Uh, it is six XP. We each get six XP, XP, and the uh, the gold is uh, two each, two each coin. Six XP, and I leveled up, and I got another four gold. Yeah, the the fan made battle goals Fenton seemed uh, good to use, only because there really are only like twenty battle goals, and it's like it's not a lot. Uh, some of them have been interesting, and it does add a lot more variety, so that's why I uh, used them. Uh, we can get rid of all our player curses. Here, I'll just I'll just do it. I'll just get rid of everybody's curses. I shouldn't have been here. Already got rid of one. There we go. Well, I would like to level up at least. And I think uh, Lost Joke probably wants to level up. You can level up right now, right? Have enough? No, but. Yeah. No. Mamtact is retiring. <laughs> you can't retire. You can't retire until you fulfill your goal. You should have let me die. And you still wouldn't be allowed to retire if you yeah. had died. Yeah, you're right, because I'd be dead. Move our stuff out so we can clean up. You weren't allowed to die. Anything you didn't let me. allowed to be exhausted. No reason on. All right. Elite map. Elite monsters. Yeah, you might be tapping out. I don't know. We we might all be tapping out. Fenton. I'm sorry to say it's possible we might all be tapping out. 